Welcome to Title Talk with your host, Drew Wishover, entrepreneur, a published author, and owner of Inspired Title Group, along with his co host and CEO, Amy Maley. Each week, they offer you some laughs, industry terminology, tips and strategies, along with the occasional real estate professional to help educate you as it pertains to buying, selling, or just plain old homeownership. Thanks for spending time with them. Now, let's jump into today's episode of Title Talk. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to our Thursday edition of Title Talk. My name is Drew. <laughs> My name is Amy. <laughs> Title Talk. I was it's just my trying new to favorite thing. Yeah, well, I was just trying to you know mimic the uh, our voiceover guy. So I just wanted to you know just hear what Sounds that was sound like. That, you know that's cool. So Sounds pretty good. We are here on another Thursday morning, and today we are going to bring to you guys some uh, conversations about some things that are going on in the market, our market trends, and talking a little bit about. Uh, maybe what you can look for or to expect in these in the year to come and, and into the fourth quarter of this year. So, yeah. but in the meantime, we are Inspired Title Group. We are Inspired Title Group. Are we the title company that cares? We are the title company that cares, located at 11757 Southwest Highway in Payless, and also with our office in St. John, Indiana, at 7800 Wicker Avenue. So, we are here for all your Illinois and Indiana real estate needs. We are, and I'm just this. This banner is killing me. I absolutely love Isn't our backdrop so late. So I hope you guys are. You know, we've gotten some comments on it, and and people have been really taking kindly to some of that fun. Way to go, I, Brett. I really, I really, you know, am glad that we were able to introduce this uh, this whole production piece. Is and, it getting easier, um, Brett? Yes. Good. good. Well, that's a good, good. thing. Well, we that's don't good. like stressing so now, you guys get more difficult. Right now, we need to challenge it up. Don't you know, worry, we had we'll ideas. Yes, well, we do have <laughs> ideas. So, why don't we start our show off today with our segment that we like to call Fun Facts. The Fun Facts. Fun Facts. Sure. We will start with Fun Facts. Yes. Um, so I just have to segue into this by, um, it's a lot of different food days today. So John and I had the discussion last night that all we do in this office is talk about food. True statement. So we, we need to start talking about other things because all I want to do is eat seven hours a day. After this fun fact, after this title talk, I think we're going to... You know, have to partake in some food because I'm hungry now. We will already. Good. Um, it is National Egg Roll Day. Nice. Yes. National Iced Tea Day. Brittany informed me it was National Beef Jerky Day. Wow. I know. Um, also, National Black Cow Day. Could not forget about this Also one. known as Rip Your Floats. Good old Rip Your Floats. Yes. Did not know what Black Cow Day was until you told me. So thank you for that. I know um, Frank J. Wisner of Cripple Creek, Colorado gets the credit for inventing the Black Cow. In August of 1893. Cripple Creek, Colorado. Cripple Creek, Colorado. I just kind of like that. I'm going to go visit. But wait, Creek. I got to go there. I got to go a little bit more. The full moon that night was shining on the snow capped cow mountain, and it reminded him of a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So he ran back to his bar, put vanilla ice cream on a root beer float, or on a on root beer, mm-hmm. and made it the first ever root beer float. So that is why it's called the Black Cow Mountain, and then it's been shortened to the Black Cow. I, I can just imagine people waking up this morning and just wanting to know the Black Cow history. Right? I mean... At least one person out there has to be really grateful for that story. Sorry for wasting everybody might, else's minute of their life that now, they'll never get back, right. but for you, that one person, that was just for Now you. there's only one person. Finally, listening. National Ballpoint Pen Day. Wow. It's my last one. Um... Commemorates the anniversary of the patent filing on June 10th, 1943. People used to use fountain pens, they used to use pencils, uneven writing, all that crap. And then (laughs) (laughs) here we are with our ballpoint pens that we use every day. So thank you to the patent of the ballpoint pen. Oh, you know, on Title Talk, we just bring the fun. (laughs) I mean, mean, when you think inspired title, you think fun facts and black cows cows and (laughs) ballpoint pens. (laughs) And beef jerky. I mean, I do hope you like you beef can, jerky. I do. I really do like beef jerky. Do you? It's, it's a it's a good fan of yeah. It it's really expensive. Out. Why? Because it's just like processed ah! hard meat. It's like meat that has. What's like, that noise? That's the sound <laughs> that's, of. That's de- like a crashing that car, is the, isn't it? No, that is the sound <laughs> of dehydrated meat. I, really? Ah! It's that's, all the everything getting sucked. That out sounds of it. like either a witch or a crashing car. I'm not sure. Or all three. I'm going to go into my fun facts, Amy. Thanks for talking here today. I wish it was just a point where we could just flip the camera right to me. But 
We can't. So, oh, anywho, uh, my fun facts are, I, I, I'm going to go back to a little bit of the coffee thing because that was, last week was, was really uh, meaningful for me. And um, You could kill a person with coffee. 70 cups would kill a 150-pound person. In a day? In a day. I mean, that's a lot of coffee. 70 that's cups a is a lot of coffee. of coffee. But you can overdose on caffeine. There are only oh. two states in the U.S. that grow coffee. Where do you think they might be? That grow coffee? Yeah. It's got to be somewhere south. No. No? No. West. That doesn't help me. I'm really bad at geography. Good at history, bad at geography. Uh, Washington. I'll just say... Seattle? Um, in that California area? and Hawaii would be the, the two places that you could grow coffee. Oh, like you meant way west. <laughs> and not just like in the western part. Okay. I'm done. I this is gonna be a fun day. I have no filter, and dumb just keeps flying out that, of my mouth. You know what? That's okay. Um, so then I go into my my next passion here, which is um, bacon. So research is inconclusive. However, bacon cures hangovers. There are Grease. amino acids and things in there that are are really beneficial for for the hangovers, and bacon has some ingredients and in, in chemicals in it that cause it to become addictive. That's a fact. The that bacon is addictive? Yes. Well, the I curing know. hangovers, eh, maybe, but the addiction part, Dude, yeah. you would, you would, could live on bacon. Mm -hmm. That's like me with pizza. I could live on pizza, you could live on bacon. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's weird, but yes, I I can smell it from a mile away, and it, it, I do have a, a banker in, a, a baker in, a hanker in, for bacon. <laughs> but, or, but baker and could that be was gonna them. be a bacon fetish. So there's a <laughs> lot of words. A, a new I, word. I will tell you that I'm very, very consumed with just a lot of things and opportunities that are going on in the inspired world. So um I apologize for the stumbleizing stumbleizing. Oh my again. God. Should uh, we just again, cut this now again, before it gets any again. worse? Why don't you just start talking and Brittany, I'll you want to trade there. spots with one of us? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go to the bullpen and we're going to bring in a reliever. Um, oh. So that was our fun facts for the day. Um, I hope you understood anything that I said. Uh, probably not, but that's okay. We're going to wrap this baby up with our quote of yep. the day. What you got? My quote today is if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change the way you think about it. Bingo. Who wrote that, Aim? That was Mary Engelbright. I love that saying. It's I, one of my favorites as well. I, I, it's so good. It's so great. It's so, so great. So some things are better left unsaid, which I generally realize right after I've said them. So darn true. Word vomit. <laughs> so darn true in my world. Like, yeah, can, can I get that, that one I back? Can I, get that, I, I need that one back. So, Reel it in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. We're, we're again, here blessed to, to be here in front of you. We're thankful for you tuning in each week. Um, we are Inspired Title. We are the title company that cares. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. Brittany's, TikTok. Brittany's TikTok in this bad boy up yes. soon. We got some different opportunities. So Social media. Uh, social media it up, kids. Like us. Thanks so much for joining. What do you got aimed to close it out? Anything good? Not really. You, you right. kind of stole the thunder. It was awesome. Thanks. I tried to. <laughs> but, uh, until next week, everybody. My name's Drew. And my name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining. Take care, everybody. Bye, guys.